families. I'm super excited you're here today. We are going to do one of my favorite sets of poses today that has the ABC yoga poses for kids. So I will go through all the, the ABC poses with you and we'll also do the bell and some breathing. Thanks for being here. All right, we are going to start by listening to the singing bowl. And while you're listening, what I want you to do is to notice how you can feel your body breathing and slowing down the longer that you listen. Listening to just one thing can really help your mind focus so that you're ready to pay attention and do some really great learning. When you pan to your bell anymore, make sure you show a thumbs up on your knee or just take a deep breath and wait until we get started. a long time to pay attention to one thing. Nice work, everyone. All right, we will do every letter of the alphabet. I will say the letter and the pose name, and then I'll show you how we can do the pose. The first letter of the alphabet is A for airplane. Come on to laying on your belly. We're going to imagine that we're an airplane soaring through the sky. So press your feet together, reach your arms out like the wings of an airplane and then lift up like you're flying through the air, past the clouds, past the sun. See lots of birds up in the sky with you. Go whoosh and lift up and come back down. Let's do that one more time. Whoosh up, whoosh, and fly, and then come all the way back down. Nice job. The next letter is B for butterfly. Put your feet together like you have the big wings of a butterfly right here. Opening up your knees to the side. You can hold your hands on your ankles or your toes and flap your wings like a butterfly. Then make sure you sit up nice and tall. Put your thumbs together and reach your hands up like the antenna of the butterfly. And you can soar over to one side and the other side and all the way back down. Oof. Great job. The next letter is C for cobra. A cobra is a really big type of snake. So we're going to lay on our bellies like a snake. Come on to your belly. And again, zip your legs up like you have a long snake tail. You can keep your feet flat on the floor and then bring your hands down by your rib cage or your, close to your belly button. Then press your hands up and reach up. You can keep your hips on the floor. If your shoulders are up by your ears, walk your hands out away from you and then press your arms straight. So you can wiggle like a cobra. Back and forth. Wiggle, wiggle. Then come down and hide in the grass. Hiding in the grass, we're gonna press up on three and make a big hiss. One, two, three. Good, let's do that again. Hiding in the grass. One, two, three. Nice job. Wonderful. The next letter after C is D dog. We'll do downward facing dog. So come onto your hands and knees to start. Tuck your toes underneath. You're going to press up and back with your hips, straightening out your spine. You can keep your knees bent and wiggle your puppy tail back and forth. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. 
You can even lift one foot up like a puppy tail. And then you could lift up the other foot. Excellent job. All the way back down. The next letter is E for easy pose. So come and sit crisscross on your bottom, nice and easy. This should feel comfortable. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can sit on your knees or you can sit in a chair. If you're feeling comfortable with your knees, with your legs crisscross, you can keep your hands on your knees, sit up nice and tall. You could flip your hands over so they're more relaxed. You can close your eyes and let's take three easy breaths. Nice job. The next letter is the letter F. The letter F is for frog. So come up onto your tippy toes with your knees wide and your hands down in front of you. Maybe spider fingers on the mat so they're nice and gentle. And you can pick up your heels. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take some big frog jumps. So come all the way up onto your tippy toes so you're ready. And on three, one, two, Three, jump. Good, let's do two more. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. <laughs> nice job, frogs. Excellent work. All right, after F comes the letter G for grasshopper. Grasshopper is a fun pose where we start on our belly and our hands are underneath our shoulders like this. Then you're going to take one leg and lift it straight up. Now you can keep your leg here, instead of bending your knee, try keeping your leg straight and lift from your hip like this. You can use your other foot to help rest your foot on your leg and bring your leg up even further, like a grasshopper. Good job. Let's do the other leg. So you can start by lifting your leg straight off the floor, not bending your knee, keep it straight. And then you can use your other foot to help lift it up like a grasshopper ready to pounce leap through the grass. Boing, boing. Nice job. All right, the next letter after G is the letter H. H is for happy baby. So come all the way onto your back, laying with your back flat on the floor. You're going to pick up your feet, then bend your knees and bring your knees close to your shoulders. Reach for your feet and you hold onto your toes like a baby. Happy, laying on the ground or in your crib, rocking side to side. You can give some baby giggles. Happy, happy, smiling babies, rocking side to side. You can wiggle your feet, wiggle your toes. Nice job. All right, sitting back up, the next letter is the letter I. I is for inhale. So we're going to notice where our inhale comes into our body, where the breath comes in, that fills up our lungs and our low belly, like called our diaphragm. These are our low, our low ribs, which is where our diaphragm is. So put one hand on your belly, right here, maybe underneath your ribs, and put your other hand on your heart. And take three inhales in and out. In, out. In and out. I notice my breathing right here underneath my ribs in a part of my body called my diaphragm. Where did you notice yourself breathing in? Great job. After the letter I comes J for Jack in the Box. We are going to tuck ourselves in like a small little toy called a Jack in the Box. So bring your feet up. Tuck your, or bring your arms around your shins and tuck your head down like you're hiding in a little box. Now there's a song that I sing. I'm gonna do a little doo -doo -doo song. And then on pop, we're going to pop our head up and then we can pop out. Okay, so right when you hear the sound pop, you can do that with your own body. Here we go. Pop goes the weasel. 
Good job. Let's do that again. Head down. Pop goes the weasel. Whoa. I popped really far. Excellent job. After the letter J comes K for kite. Now, sometimes in the spring, the wind gets really strong and we can go outside and fly a kite. So bring your feet close together while you're standing. Squeeze your legs in, reach up with your hands, put your palms together, and you're a tall kite soaring through the sky. So go one side and the other side. You can go back and up. You can come forward a little bit. You can go around in a circle. Good, go the other way. Ooh. Nice job, kites. Come all the way down to your knees. The next letter is L for lion. So sitting on your knees, we're going to make some lion claws. Put them on your legs. We're going to get ready to stick out our tongue and roar. On three. One, two, three. Good. Let's do that again. One, two, three. Beautiful job, lions. Very scary. After the letter L comes M. So staying on your knees, we're going to take our hands back towards our feet and tuck our head down like a little mouse hiding. Head down for mouse pose. You can bring your hands back to your feet and give your feet a little rub. You can sway side to side like a mouse. Tucking yourself into a little hole. Nice and comfy and cozy. Good job, mice. Now the letter next is N, which is a very special letter in our alphabet because it stands for a new pose. Hmm. You get to decide a new pose that you want to create all by yourself. You can either pause the video right now and come up with a brand new pose on your own, or you can listen and see, see what I come up with. Now, a new pose today. Hmm. I was just thinking of one called sandwich. Sandwich pose will be like this, where you stick your feet out straight in front of you. Maybe it's because I'm hungry. Reaching your legs long, toes up to the sky, and we're going to close our sandwich with another piece of bread. Bring your bread all the way down and smoosh your sandwich closed. Now open it back up. You gotta put some more stuff inside. Put some more stuff in your sandwich. Maybe some peanut butter, maybe some jelly, maybe some pickles. Good, open your sandwich back up. Get ready to close the bread. Woo. Nice job. Thanks for joining me on that one. The next letter is the letter O, and that stands for otter. An otter is a fun animal that loves to play in the water and slip and slide all through the rocks and the weeds. So come on to your tummy. You can keep your feet flat on the floor, hands down by your belly button. We're gonna press up and lift our knees off the floor and then wiggle like an otter, slippery sliding through the water. And come all the way down and back up. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Slippy slide. Good job, otters. The next letter is P for peacock. A peacock is a very beautiful bird with a big set of feathers. So we're going to sit really wide with our legs apart. And you can have them here, you can have them a little closer, however you feel comfortable. Whatever way your feet is, it's just fine. Point your toes up to the sky. You might feel some stretching behind your legs. That's perfectly normal. Make sure you don't go too far and hurt yourself. Sit up nice and tall and then spread your wings behind you like a beautiful peacock with a huge rainbow of feathers behind them, reaching up and down. If you want to, you can walk your hands a little forward, take a deep breath. One more. Nice job, peacock. The next letter is Q for queen. Queen, the queen.
queen had a birthday very recently. And she stood up very tall. So you can stand tall with your feet on the floor, spread your toes wide to make sure you're standing really tall, and you can press your hands behind you in reverse namaste. So what that looks like is my hands come to this pose behind my back. That doesn't work with you. You can just hold on to your wrists like this to make sure that you're standing up nice and tall. Squeeze your legs together. Reach your head to the ceiling as if you were pressing your crown way up to the sky. Nice job, queens and kings and princes and princesses and everyone, everyone out there. I should not have sat down. The next one is ragdoll, R. So when we're doing R, ragdoll, we can have our feet a little bit apart. So they're separated. And then we're going to lean all the way over and reach our hands down. This might be your ragdoll. You can let your head relax and go back and forth. You can also bend your knees a little and hold on to your elbows. Then your head can get a little closer to the ground and you can sway side to side. Make sure that you are comfortably stretching the back of your legs and not hurting your body. Take a breath in and out. And then release your arms and roll up nice and slowly. Ragdoll. Good job. The next letter is S for swan pose. Now the swan is a beautiful bird that floats on the water. Now, when I do swan, I bend my knees and I press my hands into the floor. I bring them a little further away from my shoulders so that I can straighten my arms without hurting my back. If you want to, you can reach your head all the way to your feet. My head doesn't go that far and that's okay. So I'm just going to stretch right here and breathe and press my feet closer and look up and imagine floating on the water like a beautiful swan, peaceful and calm with wide white feathers and a long neck. Good job. Come back, back down gently. Press all the way up. The next letter is letter T for triangle. Triangle is a wonderful pose. We start standing. Put your feet nice and wide. Bring one foot to face with your toes the other way. Reach your hand out. Reach your other hand out. And then tick tock your arms so that they are the other direction so they are vertical up and down now you might be making a triangle with your legs and also between your leg and your arm you can reach down a little further if you want to and make sure that your body your back stays nice and straight instead of rounding like this good triangle now come all the way up we're going to turn our toes so they go the other way other toes facing the other direction arm out other arm out tip down like a little teapot and you're making another triangle you can look up at the ceiling hello ceiling nice straight lines between your arms and your legs and your whole body good nice job triangles after t comes u for unicorn a unicorn is an imaginary horse so we're going to come onto all fours hands Knees on the floor, feet can be flat or toes tucked, and then you need to create your unicorn horn. So bring one hand up and make your horn. Neigh! Actually, I don't know if unicorns neigh. They might, or they might say something else. Good day. How are you? Bring your other hand up to your horn. Beautiful weather. Lovely to see you. Good job, unicorns. All right, after you comes V for volcano. Come onto your feet, standing nice and tall with your feet together and start with your hands at your heart. We're going to reach our hands up like a volcano exploding and then they open. And then back to your heart. We'll do that again. Breathe in and go up. Good. 
The other way we can do a volcano is by separating our feet and coming down to squat. And then your hands start here. And when we explode, we jump way up and out and open. First, we're gonna get our hands nice and warm. So warm up your hands, because the middle of a volcano is really hot. So warm up your hands like nice warm lava, rub, 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 faster, faster, faster. And then after three, we're gonna explode up. One, two, three. Whoa, that was a big explosion. Let's do that one more time. Come down to your squat, warm up your hands. One, two, three. Oh, excellent job. The next letter is W for waterfall. We're going to make a waterfall go off of our backs. So come with your feet together, reach your hands straight up to the ceiling and press your palms up. Now imagine there's water falling off the back of your hands. So going up and over, whoosh. Make your waterfall really tall, reach up. Job. X is our next letter. There's a couple of ways we can make an X. We can stand tall and cross our arms in front of us like an X, like this. And you can cross them the other way. X. Good. And then we can make a really big X with our feet wide, toes pointing out, hands wide. Make a huge X with your body. Bring your body in and then press out. X. Good. Y. We're also going to make that shape with our body. Press your feet together. Bring your body all the way in and then reach your arms out like a big Y for yoga. Or yes. Yes, yoga. And for you are wonderful. Y. Lovely job. The last letter is Z for zero. So sitting crisscross, you can bring one foot up closer to your thigh, and then you're going to make a big zero with your arms right above your head. Z, zero, for zip. Nice job. Well, lovely job. Thank you so much for being here today with me and doing the alphabet poses, the ABC yoga for kids. I am so happy you were here. We're going to do a couple deep breaths together just to make sure that our bodies are ready to go on with whatever we're going to do next in our day. Hands, you can bring your hands to a ball in front of you like this, or hands to your heart and your chest. You could also trace your finger up and down as we breathe in and out. Here we go. Lovely job. Thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.